Hello everyone, Scopy Gaming back with another video, and today I'm taking you on a tour on a multiplayer world that I've been in for a bit. I wanted to make it a, a YouTube series. If you would like me to turn it into a YouTube series, um, make sure you like the video, comment SMP, please, and let's get to it. I'm taking you on a tour of what we got so far. So far, we're running on a crisis of food. We'll get that sorted. This is my house. Really working on it. I've been I've used a shader. I got a shader going since yesterday. Uh, got a pack with me. Uh, some resources everywhere. Everything just small. It's nothing but it's just really. I, like, I kind of like the designs that I did for the house, all rebuilt by me. We have the tower that we used to help show where our base is. Well, we built it by spawn. Our intention is to invite as many people as possible. Just to uh, really show. Um, kind of make the world like more populated I guess it's a friend of mine's house he hasn't really been working too much on it but he's got his little farm set up for his food no but the basics yeah he made the little waterfall I made all these paths it turned out really nice. I enjoyed the path. We have an automatic sugar cane farm, which we can look up here. So I can jump. We got a whole automated system for sugar cane, so if anything grows, it immediately pops in the ground. And if we continue along the path, you can see we got lush forest stuff everywhere. Nice little. The bridge might get changed, but that's what I did for that bridge. Don't really like it too much. It's kind of too big. And then this was lore for the tribe. This is supposed to be the fox god because obviously it, you can tell what kind of tribe it is. The fox tribe. It's part of a Discord server I'm in. Try to make. If you guys want this to be a series. Then I'll put in descriptions of the videos the invite code for this. This here is the tower. A friend of mine made it. Really nothing too exciting. We got different stuff. So good cinematic and now I did add a little something extra to this. I wanted to make it like a kind of a lighthouse feature and if I can walk up properly a little redstone contraption make it like kind of like a lighthouse themed so you can get a whole tour that's my house right there friend's house the sugar cane farm we got that was a farm we're gonna tear that down because we're making an automated farm system. That piece of wool is going to be a small little hotel for villager breeding. That we'll go to. That's the main um, meeting area of the tribe. Obviously, with me being the leader, I sit up there on that chair. And then everyone else sits on that weird bench kind of thing. We got the nether portal for nether access. A temple farm. Uh, we got some animals. I know we got sheep, cows, and chickens down there at a friend's house. Two people live in that house, actually. And there is a path going over there, which leads to a nice farm, which won't load in because we're running distance.
every time I do this, I always think about um, Minecraft story mode because they did like a little scene thing where it was like it going through different rooms and stuff. Kind of, uh, well, obviously, here's the cow farm, the sheep farm. Obviously, we breed them, get more animals, and we slaughter them. But not too much. We got a farm system. Well, not a cave system where we go and get some resources obviously there's not much resources in there anymore due to the fact that we obviously been using it for some farms the temple farm chickens we only got two left I guess we slaughter too many Don't mind the random signs everywhere. They were like messing around. They were working on something down here, which I don't know what. This that leads to like a different back door, and this is basically just nothing. I created that. Just messing around. have the nether uh, kind of kind of all right we got a bastion and a nether fortress by sp by the spawn so that's fine like I said earlier this was the little meeting area so like people sit here people are part of the tribe and I sit here and we have a little discussion about everything this is the farm my friend's working on the auto automatic farm Obviously, like I said, this little wool piece thing that they built right here, this is supposed to be a little small, not too big, but, or too small, but kind of like in between small, medium-sized hotel with like different rooms that you can use a hopper system to put in a chest in the hotel just to breed villagers, get more villagers so that we can build more houses and obviously trade with them, have them do farming and stuff like that basic minecraft stuff and this was the original farm this chest is used for the automatic farm and i know i said we had like a food crisis yes we do and i know you see all these seeds in here and you're like why don't you just grow your stuff well obviously we're trying to make a new farm so we're going to use all of these if not most of them to grow the crops and have it all automated for us Yes, we do have crops over there, but crops, you know, in Minecraft take a while unless you get bone meal. Which we do have a farm that does give us bone meal and iron, which is down this path. You can see how nice Minecraft looks with all of these shaders. And, and the issue with this is sometimes the bone meal thing doesn't do it. Because sometimes it puts the flowers in with the chest, which, thanks to my friend, he would get this far, which took a while. We get plenty of iron, some bone meal. And if you're wondering why the villagers and stuff are different, they also have a texture pack that makes it look like Minecraft dungeon for the mobs. As you can hear, we can actually do the iron All the stuff gets sorted into a hunter and flopped right into the chest. And once again, you can see a beautiful, nice shot farm up there. And I fell in a hole. And yes, it does bug out sometimes when the sky goes black like that. I don't know why it does that. Thing. See, it, like, it like bugs out for me. As you can see, I got the little thing up there. A nice view of the distant sun and it's all foggy and stuff. Which 
I'd like to show you the rain, but I don't know if it's going to rain anytime soon. Like, it rains a lot on this roof. There's a nice view of my house, which I still need to add, like, little supports under it. And then it's going to be fully complete. And obviously, I would have to decorate the inside. But I haven't found time for that. You got a nice fast tree in the center. I really like this. We're going to add more stuff to this. Get a nice shot of the campfire in the reflective water. All this I, I really like a lot. And then we got our, obviously, the god again. And I just realized the feature that was in the game where he can literally take berries off of it to feed himself. Which, honestly, in my opinion, I was just using these berries. Well, actually, I was just using these berries as for looks, but it's actually giving him food, so I don't need to always come down here and feed him. He has his food automatically. Now, I know I should have probably put water in there, but I'll do that sometimes in the future. We got the waterfall. So we're going to expand the pond and stuff up there, and then we're going to make it like a axolotls and stuff up there. And that's basically it. That's basically everything we have so far. We are trying our best to continue working more on it. I just love the way everything looks in the dark. But, if you want to see this as a series, you already know what to do. Like, if you're new, subscribe, and if you want this as a series, then just put in the comments SMP, please. And anything. Anyways, with that, thank you for watching. And also, a, another note about me now uploading. I haven't had the energy or anything to upload. I've been busy working. I had my birthday yesterday. Finally 18, by the way. Um, let's see what else did I do. Also school, I had to focus on school, hang out with some friends a bit. Uh, haven't really had the time to record. I wanted to record a Try Not To Laugh video yesterday with another Twitch streamer because I might collab with a Twitch streamer. Toxic Bubbles is his name. You should all check him out on Twitch. We'll see how that goes, and you might have to expect a Try Not To Laugh Challenge video soon, or at least sometime in the future, if I keep going with the channel, which I'm trying my best to keep up on it as much as possible. But anyways, with that said, thank you all for watching, see you all in the next